know that you're going to probably get tested this next week because they'd, they'd like to throw the ball a lot. What have you seen from Plummer that really kind of makes him stand out compared to the other quarterbacks that you've seen so far this year? Yeah, good quarterback, um, good pocket presence, delivers the ball well, throws a nice ball. Um, probably not the, the same mobility as some of the quarterbacks we've seen, um, but he, you know, deceptively can, can, can get out of the pocket and run when he needs to. Um, good decision maker, so we're going to have to, you know, be on our best, uh, uh, you know, discipline wise and and coverage wise to to make sure we slow him down. As a running back like Ott, test you in particular when they're gonna either bring him out of the backfield or just split him out wide in the slot and just the, the skill set that he has. Yeah, he's he's a he's a really good uh, running back. Can do it all. Um, you know, for especially for a freshman, pretty impressive. Um, hard runner. You know, he's gonna give us a lot of different looks, a lot of empty looks and stuff like that. Um, where we have to treat him, we can't just treat him as a back that you know you don't really pay attention to. Um, so you know him as a receiver and and um, as their primary back in the backfield. You know he gives a he's a, he's a big weapon for us uh, or for them, I guess, against us that we're we're gonna have to stop. Um, you know, not just the pass game, not just the run game, but everything altogether. Going back home to kind of your neck of the woods, is that always kind of an exciting experience? And you have a lot of family and friends that'll be. Oh yeah, there. yeah, it'll be a lot, of, a whole lot of people there. Um, you know, I'm I'm excited to go home. Always excited to go back home. Um, you know, playing there, I had a had a good game last time I played there a couple a couple years ago. Uh, obviously, not the result we wanted a couple years ago, um, but it's going to be a lot different, right? Um, you know, different atmosphere, some fans in the stands. Um, you know, excited, always excited to go back home. Feels good to to play there. Where have you seen the growth of this defense maybe coming off the bye week do you feel like you guys saw like what you needed to see this last game yeah um there's always more we can do definitely you know that complete game still chasing that you know that fourth quarter um gave up a little too many points uh too many yards but you know when you're ahead like that the whole game it's it you, your game plan changes a little bit right you have to uh we've dropped into a whole ton of a lot of zone and and kept stuff in front of us which you know for that game plan i think we did a good job um Obviously, it racked up the yards, but that's not, you know, necessarily what we're looking at. We're looking at the win. Um, so this this week, we want to go in and, and play that complete game, um, start to finish, and try and really give up, you know, no points if, if we can. Where have you seen Brian maybe grow the most this season? He's playing high in snap counts almost from last year already. Yeah. What, do you, what have you kind of seen from him? Yeah, he's he's got phenomenal talent, um, and we've been – you know, early in the season and kind of in fall camp, we were on him like, dude, you can be, you can be really special. Um, just certain stuff you got to lock into and certain, um, you know, treat everything like, like you're a professional. I think he's really embraced that recently. Um, and I mean, the play speaks for itself. Like he's out there, such a rangy uh, safety, um, you know, covers the, really like so much of the field, right? So that takes away a lot for a quarterback. He can't, uh, the deep balls, I mean, we haven't seen it all season, but he's, you know, him back there definitely prevents that, um, and he's a playmaker. He comes downhill when he when he when he's in that mode and that mindset, the right mindset. He um, is a pretty unstoppable force. So we're gonna keep you know keep getting on him, but definitely uh, happy to have him back there. I was just gonna say though, to have a game where he makes a play on Charbonnet coming all the way across the field, takes his leg out, also comes back, makes a pick, knocks another away. That's yeah. Oh, I've been on him about, about range. I've been on him about the fact that he dropped the one yeah. earlier. Uh, he doesn't like to hear it. Uh, Could have had two, but no, he's that was phenomenal. That one play is my favorite, um, where he came down on, on Charbonnet. Um, you know, we we sent five, and so it's kind of a a softer zone in the back, and he read it uh, just like he's supposed to, and came down and made that tackle. Uh, pretty pretty impressive. So we're happy with what he's doing, but he want, we wanted him to keep improving too. In sort of your perspective, I, I know the third down defense numbers were, I think it was six for 12 last week. Is it getting closer to where you guys wanted to be on third down situations? And how is it still frustrating at this point just to not quite be there? Yeah, um, getting there, right? Yes, it is a little a little frustrating still. But um, there's stuff that has been we've had to address all year, right? And, and when we do address it, it seems to pick up. Like red zone, we were last in the country early in the season. And then that's something we really made an emphasis on. And now, um, you know, obviously you saw it last game, a, a ton of field goals. So th those are things like, okay, we put a lot of emphasis on it. We we know we can get better at it. It's just a matter of like, all right, now in practice. So we've been doing a whole lot of third down um, um, stuff and, and working on getting off the field. So I think you'll see that show up pretty 
pretty soon in the next few games. Does it put kind of some wind in your guys' sails that you guys had that performance against UCLA, which is one of the best third down offenses in the country? Yeah, um, you know, it wasn't a great performance. Um, we got to get ourselves in more third and long looks rather than, you know, the third and short. That's where obviously it's easier for offenses to convert. Um, you know, we can put in third and long looks, then we can start running stuff that we want to, some more blitzes and, and different coverages that messes up the quarterback. Um, and that's just winning on first and second down, right? So now, I, I, you know, it goes into the whole scheme of, of, of the defense um, and how we win every single down, put us in better positions. Obviously, that last trip to Cal is unlike any other trip to Cal, obviously. But historically, over like the last 10 years or so, it's been always a tricky game for Oregon at Cal. Is there something about that Bay Area trip that just makes this team a little bit better when they play at home against you guys? I'm sure. And I'm sure, you know, um, for them, you look at their staff and a lot of their guys are, are Oregon guys. Um, you know, we feel like every time we play a team or any time a team plays us, it's going to be their biggest game of the year because they want to knock, you know what I'm saying, knock us off. Um, they're going to give a little extra juice, play a little harder. Um, and But we're expecting that. Right. So we know Cal's going to give us a, a really good game um, and we can't, you know, go down there and think that we have, you know, have it all in the bag just because of what we did last week. Um, so I, I, I know they're going to come out and play hard um, and that's going to be on us to play a really good game. What's allowed B.A. to have the production that not just that he had last week, but I mean, he's having a career year right now in terms of production as a situational guy. Yeah. And, and last week came up obviously huge. Getting, yeah those situations yeah we i just addressed that a little a little earlier but um he's had that talent and he's he it's just you know a matter of right getting him in the in the right position he was obviously a receiver a couple years ago got him to safety or played corner and then safety but um for him to to know what he's doing to a point where he can play instinctually um and you know when he is able to play that fast it's it's pretty special his athletic ability um his you know ball tracking um ability to go get the ball in the air. And then really his tackling is what has improved the most. Um, coming downhill, you know what I'm saying, to, to make the tackle rather than waiting or kind of backing up. I um, mean, as a, as a you know tall guy, 6'5", it's not easy to go down and make those tackles. Um, so that's something we've been on him a ton about, but he's definitely stepping up to the plate um, and can be a huge, huge contributor for us, you know, the rest of the season. When you guys are going against the ones in practice, how often do you have to deal with a head full of steam from Salo pulling around the edge? <laughs> Sometimes, um, you know, when I'm playing boundary safety more so, um, which hasn't been the case recently, thank God. <laughs> I don't like seeing him in the hole. Um, but sometimes you got to do it, and it's he's he's coming full speed. Um, we love God. I love my our O line. It's it's pretty impressive. Probably the best in the country, I would say. Um, their athleticism is is pretty impressive. So yeah, that sucks going against them. You have to, <laughs> and usually you have to take that block on because they can move too. It's not like you're just going to be able to, to move out the way and juke them. So um, that's not the most fun part of practice for sure. Kind of a big picker, picture question, but you guys have been in a familiar spot as you are now where you're one of the last unbeatens in conference and rank near the top and then fold through down the stretch of a season. Kind of why will this be year be different for you guys? And maybe as a leader, are you saying anything about your position or is that just not even I guess in the mind. Um, I, yeah. I think we, you know, we have to address it. Like it's, it's, you know, it doesn't make sense to, to ignore that. Okay. We're doing well right now. We're playing well. Yeah, we, we are playing well, but what has got us here? Like, that's where we look at like, okay, from week one. Yeah. We played a really poor, we had a poor performance, but the reason we're winning right now, yeah, we have talent, but we've had talent in the past, right? That's not, that's not it. It's because we're working and we're addressing specific things. Um, that are getting us better. You can see it week in, week out, we're getting better. Um, and so that's that's what it is. It's like, look, you can't <laughs> rest on your coattails and think that, okay, now we've proven we're a good team, right? Um, so it's gonna take us the rest of the year. Like, no, what has got us to that point is is uh, working and coming out here every day and, and hitting Tuesday, Wednesday, like going hard. Um, those are the type of things that, you know, we have to understand as a team and go back to it every single week. Um, you know, our theme this, this week is humble and hungry, right? And I think that fits after last week, you know, doing well against UCLA, having a good performance in, t uh, in a top 10 matchup. But going back to like, okay, look, we, we know we're good, but we have to understand that we, we got to be hungry. We got to get better um, and, and continue to improve. We were joking with Dan about this, but who's the best basketball player on the team? Basketball player, I'm going to have to say me for sure. What's um, your game like? <laughs> um, I, you know, I've, I've gotten better actually with the less practice I think I've had at basketball. Um, you know, a little I can dribble, 
Um, definitely like to go to the to the rack and score. I can play some good defense, believe it or not. Um, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's my MO right there. Uh, pretty crafty. Um, not the best shooter, I would say, but, you know, let me get in the gym, put up 100 shots, and we'll, we'll get better, right? Um, no, but there's some, we got some good hoopers. Um, you know, I know Triquez is a good hooper. Um, um, Kyler, I know, is actually a really good hooper, Kyler Casper. A um, couple guys, I'm sure that will get on me for forgetting to mention them. But Dan, Dan said Saul would be good for five fouls. So, <laughs> so yeah, put him in, um, big body in the middle. Uh, probably not taking any charges. Yeah. So. <laughs>